pop this in the vise, just taper that hole on the top side so that it's got a little bit of a V to it so that when I put the wedge in the top of the hammer handle to spread that open it will pinch into that little V, that taper, and uh, the hammer head hopefully won't fly off. So I'm going to do that with a file. And as I say, the idea of this is just so that hopefully the hammer head won't fly off. Here's the handle. It's tight at the moment, and I want it to be tight. Don't know if I can... You can see there it's pinching a little bit of wood off, but I'm not going to worry about that, because if anything, it's just making itself fit nicely. Not too bad. We are forming now a little hammer. So what we've got to do next, clean this back so it's the same height, and then put a little wedge in the top to spread it. Probably drill a little hole in the end so he can hang it up, some varnish or some lacquer or something on this handle so it's a bit nicer. Clean this up, put a spreader in, and um, she's nearly done. And that'll do. Fairly coarse file, because it is wood. I think that'll do us. Now I just need to find uh, some sort of a wedge. Don't know what I'm going to use for that yet because I haven't thought about it. So I found this old. Uh, um, don't know really what it was. We'll just hack a little piece of this off. Useless saw. Let's try another one. It's also probably the world's worst saw. Let's see how we get on with saw number three. God, they're all blunt. Right. That's a bit better. Got a little piece of brass. Uh, what I'm going to do is tidy it up a bit so I saw the other end. Right, bash that the other way up. Square it up in the vise a little bit. Take the top off so it's uh, just a bit tidy. Now let's check that for. Um, see, it's going to be a little bit too wide as it stands at the moment. But I think what I might do is split it down the middle so I'll have two. Next thing uh, is to turn this into a taper, which would probably be best done. What we'll do is we'll just stick it in the vise at an angle, tighten it up, and any luck should just be able to file until it becomes a taper. I think get the damn thing in there, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? Now really, files are used only in one direction, like this, because otherwise you've got triangle edge on the tooth and as you drag it back you're just rolling over that edge and you'll just blunt the file eventually but this is brass and a rusty old file now I don't know if you can see but that is actually now a little wedge a little point and also obviously I'm um, these vice jaws are hardened so if you start bashing the top of the vice with the file you're going to blunt the file I'm not going to be particularly fussy about that do for the moment. What I'm going to do is saw that down the middle now. There we go. I think that should do us. We now have our two brass wedges. Thereabouts. They will go into the top of here. Let us attempt to do that. Now, if I put this in the vise, what I don't want to do is end up bashing the and tighten up the vise just enough so that it's not falling over on me. If you're going in, sir. You know what I'm trying to do, but it's just too awkward. Two brass wedges in the end of that piece of wood, which uh, have spread it into that hammerhead. So hopefully it should not fall off. All I'm going to do now is put it back in the vise here. Just run a file over the top of it, tidy it up a little. Maybe drizzle some super glue down there, in fact, just to help stop things from uh, as I made it. There's no guarantees it won't drop to pieces. Once again, incorrect file practice. That's yeah, looking a bit better. We're nearly there. We've nearly made the hammer for Kev. Just going to super glue into the end of here. Put some on the other end as well, just to help hold the thing together. Good saturating. What a mess. Wipe it off the metal and the worst parts there. All super glued. Just got to wait for it to go hard. Right, so the last thing I think is the last thing is just the cat coming in. We do Wormington. Yeah. 
What I'm trying to do is just flatten the side off a little bit. Give it a little bit of a flat profile to the edge. No real need to do any of this. Round that off a bit. Make it a bit nicer to use. It's coming up now. Still some super glue on there when I get off. There we go. So nearly there. Don't know how many times I said we're nearly there. I may do, what I may do, what I may do. I may just polish that up. So that's a little bit of metal polish. And I'll continue with the sandpaper and polish just for a moment. Don't know why I'm going. So it's a hammer. Once you begin these things, you kind of feel obliged to um, final sanding of the handle. Right. I'm going to take this up and I'm going to just going to douse the handle. I probably need a few coats on here, but we'll get one on now. And uh, I'll probably probably save you the viewing many. That's quite boring. You've seen it happen. Let this soak in a bit. Come back, put some more on. Come back, put some more on. Come back, put some more on. Come back, put some more on and then uh, and we can give it to Kev and he won't use it. But still, off camera. I decided to drill a hole in the end so that if Kev wants to, he can hang the thing up. So I'm just going to give that a little little bit of a sand. So yeah, a little hole in there for uh, for hanging it up. Time for uh, another coat of lacquer, I think. So I brought the hammer inside. It's had a couple of coats of lacquer on the uh, handle now. What I'm going to do is I've got these decals here. So I think we're going to have a, a little bit of a Kevin Tolbert out of this. We'll see how it goes. I'll, uh, I'm not going to film putting all the decals on because it's a fiddly old job and the camera's just going to get in the way. But basically I just cut these out, the individual letters, soak them in water and then slide them on, lacquer it so it's sealed and they won't come off. And hopefully that will be um, a finished job. So we'll come back when that's done. All right, so we now have Kevin Talbot on the hammer. Uh, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this uh, setting agent. Hopefully it won't disturb too much. And then once that's done its job, dried off, I'll give it some lacquer. That's quite boring. Man, man, man.